Hey everybody, this is Pissed Rhino. Uh, I'm doing a little video today to go over some decisions I've made, some problems I've had, and um, well, let's get started. So, you guys know I had the um, diff gear issue. Uh, I got the Endure diff gears in. Um, I put them in, installed them properly, and they were crunchy. <laughs> so, when I would turn the drive shaft, it was not smooth at all. Um, so I got mad. And as you can see, um, blue truck is mixing, missing axles and some other stuff. So I, uh, last night I placed a big order, um, and that included two Mias portal axles. So this is going to go from trail axles to Mias portals, um, which I have not had an issue with yet. And I say yet because you never know. I haven't had these beating outside or jumping off stuff, but uh, but the Mias portals come smooth. They you know connect quickly. You can remove the shocks without removing the entire thing. Um, you can also see that I've went with the Mias brass links on this one. I decided I ordered brass links for every one of my trucks. So all five trucks will have brass links. Um, what else are there? So portal axles. Um, and I'll have, by the way, I had to buy the axles as a kit. Uh, so I had to buy the front and rears together. That's the only way I could get them soon. Uh, so I'll have two rear portal axles available if anybody's interested. Sell them for like 25 bucks or something like that I'm just I got so much stuff you know I know we we talked about a giveaway we do the giveaways I was thinking we can either do a small giveaway at 300 or do a big giveaway at 350 and what I mean by a big giveaway is uh, chassis links um, I'll even have an option for motors oh that's another thing I ordered I ordered two more cedar motors to replace the two Komodos I have one of those Komodos will go into a stock body build and then the other one will be uh, a giveaway prize or for sale if anybody wants one so any of the stuff that I have if somebody wants to buy it cheaply I'd be glad to sell it uh, so I can fund other things um, but if not it's all gonna go in the giveaway pile and I guess I might as well show you what I'm talking about so I have a set of Mias links with screws since the brass ones came with screws so whole set of links there this is an entire front axle, trail axle. Um, this axle has the plus five um, drive shafts or axles in it. So I included the rear plus fives. Uh, plus you get everything you need for the servo mount. So this is a complete bolt up. It's got all the um, bearings in it diff this diff works it's never failed so um, this one I'm confident would be a great great piece for somebody then I have an entire set of plus five axles GPM baby then I have a empty trail axle housing so 
to make this one fully in effect, you would need diff gears and axles, which if you bought the axles I have, it would work. Um, but, and then the hubs, or the, the knuckles, whatever you want to call them. But I also have a set of knuckles too. Trail. You can see where the blacks come off from trying to get the screws out without taking these off every time. This is a pain in the butt, but... So potentially, if you bought a set of diffs, diff gears, and bought this stuff I have here, um, you could do two trucks with it. <clears throat> so that's everything I took off today. Um, the Enjoy diff gears will go back. I bought those on Amazon, so I'm going to return those because they didn't work. So... Um, so all four trucks will have brass Mias links. Three of them will have Mias portals. And I still have one truck on Trill portals, which I think is red truck. Um, I went through and verified all their headlights and lights work. Red's headlights don't work, so I gotta replace those. Those headlights are very fragile. Um, if you pull this away from the light, or if you pull this down, those halo rings don't wanna work. If you touch them the wrong way. Um, all four will have cedar motors. Uh, stock body will have a Komodo. I still got to get a receiver uh, for stock body, but I got time. I'm waiting on parts from Mias. Mias is providing parts for me um, for that build. Some of the parts, like uh, a servo. Oh, it might just be the servo. I bought everything else, I think. Um, oh, that's, so I might as well show you this. I did buy a whole new stock body. This is the Area 51, like my real truck. And it is, I've had this before and sold it, so I had to buy a new one. Um, and this is going to be for the stock body build with the Mias chassis and the trailing arms. But, um, the blue will also have trailing arms on it. Um, because I'm going to have to take that whole thing apart to get everything back together, right? So I'm going to do the hopefully be able to do the trailing arms on it. Depends on if I can figure out the rear mounts, shock mounts, but other than that, um, oh, the other thing I bought, and I don't know if you guys will be interested in this or not, but I bought a TRX-4, a red Bronco TRX-4. Um, I don't know, I got a hair up my butt last night and decided that I'd go ahead and get one. Um, had a couple guys ask me if I was going to build one because that's the next in progression. So I figured, well, I might as well. So I will have a TRX-4 that I will start modding. Um, I already bought the Hobby Wing um, EX or something. I don't remember. It's got their FOS, the crawling motor. So that's coming. So that'll be the first mod is putting brushless in it. Um, so then once all these trucks are done, um, I'd like to sell them or some of them. So if anybody's interested, if anybody wants to build one just like I build it, 
um, it'd be cheaper for you to buy it for me because the parts are going to be like eleven hundred to twelve hundred dollars, and I'm going to sell them for like eight fifty. So you can save a ton of money just by waiting a little bit and buying one of my pre-built ones. And they're all perfect. As you can see, I, if there's something not perfect with it, I, I change it out, I fix it, and I've gone through every screw of these probably 20 times to make sure everything's right. So they're all good to go. The wraps should be here soon. Um, I'm excited about that. I've seen some pre-photos and they're just going to be wicked. So, looking forward to that. Um, what else? Yeah, so I'm going to have to disassemble this whole thing because I'm swapping out the motor anyway. And I'm hoping that everything can handle the high speed gearing because it's pretty heavy duty I'm trying to think of other questions oh I had a guy talking about the LGRP Swamp Kings and That noise is them sticking. That's how sticky these are. Um, great tires. Um, I mean, these are known all over the 118 scale as being one of the top five tires. Uh, then you got the Trail Kings, which are not. I mean, they're pretty popular. Um, but they don't have the aggression that the Swamp Kings do. But for all terrain use, you want the Trench Kings. Or Trail Kings, not Trench Kings. Trail Kings. They also make Trench Kings. Which are very popular. Um, oh. For the giveaway, I also have the orange ripper, the orange chassis. So, with all the parts I have, you could build an entire ripper with great axles and pretty much every, all you would need is a receiver, a servo, and a transmission plate, to the, or and a transmission because. I'm going to be using the transmission I have. So a transmission plate, a transmission, servo, um, ESC, and wheels and tires. Which I have wheels and tires I could sell for it too. I could pretty much... I'd sell that for... How much would that run? So, yeah, it's chassis. And I'd have to figure it out, but I could sell you a, a kit to build your own ripper um, for pretty cheap, if anybody's interested in that. Trill axles, um, trill links. the chassis with all the side plates the orange kit I'm trying to think what else I got that would work in there I don't know I've got axles I've got drive shafts I've got all that stuff so essentially as long as you provided the electronics and the transmission you could have an entire build so, anyway, that's something to think about, if you're interested. I really like to clean some of this out. I'm still going to be doing TRX4M upgrades, but I'd also like to do some upgrades on the TRX4. And if I sold anything, that's what I'd be using it for, show everybody 
the cool upgrades you can do on the TRX-4. So, um, it would help me out a lot. Just let me know. Um, the wife won't yell at me anymore if I have, <laughs> have somebody buying stuff. No. Um, what else? I don't know. There's not a whole lot going on today. That's why I'm doing this video. Um, I've got stuff coming. A lot of stuff coming. And that's really where I'm at. Just waiting on parts. Everything else is done and perfect. So just waiting on parts. And uh, that's it. Uh, well, I think that's it for today. This will be a short video. Not much going on. It's Thursday. Uh, I'm going to go watch some Apple TV. So, uh, oh, and the wife said she's going to make French toast for dinner. How about that? I haven't had French toast in years, let alone for dinner. Uh, she better be making some sausage or something with it, too, because you got to have meat for dinner, right? I'm not vegan or anything. I eat lots of meat, so. That's my life for today. A little TV. Dinner with the family. A little more TV. Then back to bed. <laughs> Y'all have a great day. I hope you have as much fun as I'm going to have. And then uh, we will talk again soon. Once parts show up, I will start doing some good videos, unlike this lame video. Uh, but I'll start doing some good videos again, and we'll be modding, modding, modding. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.